Science of Energy, Critical Concepts Video Series. Video 2, How Ultrasonic Energy Impacts Tissue. This video will cover vessel sealing with ultrasonic energy, ultrasonic energy heat profile, and heat management techniques. Ultrasonic devices use friction to generate heat, combined with compression and time on tissue to allow surgeons to create the desired tissue effect. The nature of how frictional heat interacts with tissue is different than heat created with an electrical current, as you will learn in the monopolar and bipolar videos in this video series. The way in which ultrasonic energy devices convert electrical energy to mechanical motion is critical to understanding the concepts in this video. If you haven't done so already, we recommend you watch video 1, How Ultrasonic Energy is Created, prior to proceeding. Vessel Sealing with Ultrasonic Energy For all energy devices, the balance of mechanical compression, heat and time on tissue is critical to effective vessel sealing. Too little or too much of any one variable won't deliver the desired hemostasis or cutting effect. Ultrasonic energy devices utilize and balance these factors during the vessel sealing process. It begins with clamping on the vessel to achieve compression. The surgeon applies energy at a low power setting, which maximizes coagulation. Frictional heat on tissue breaks down protein-hydrogen bonds, denaturing proteins, including those essential to create a hemostatic seal, such as collagen and elastin. The increased temperature vaporizes water and other tissue fluids to produce steam. The denatured proteins form a sticky coagulum, and along with additional compression and heat, the opposing vessel walls coapt to form a seal. Additional compression, frictional heat and time eventually transects the tissue. In general, ultrasonic energy devices take approximately 3 to 5 seconds to seal a 5 mm diameter vessel and longer with larger vessels. Ultrasonic Energy Heat Profile All energy devices intended to coagulate, cut and seal vessels use heat. However, the effect of frictional heat on tissue is different than heat created from electricity, which bipolar and monopolar devices use, and are covered in separate videos. In ultrasonic vessel sealing, heat generation starts in the blade. As frictional heat builds in the blade, the heat transfers to the targeted tissue. If one were to measure the temperatures at the end of the sealing cycle, they would find the blade is hotter than the tissue. Heat is generally contained within the jaws of the device, extending laterally by a few millimeters. The amount of lateral thermal spread is dependent on the blade material, time on tissue, addition of adaptive algorithms, and surgeon technique. Since electricity does not flow through tissue, there is no stray or radiated energy which may damage nearby structures. This is an electrical phenomenon of bipolar devices, which will be covered in video 4 of this video series. Heat Management Techniques To achieve hemostasis, all energy devices use heat, which damages the tissue. In general, irreversible tissue damage occurs quickly above 60 degrees Celsius. Therefore, medical device manufacturers and surgeons use different approaches to minimize the damage to tissue. Energy device manufacturers focus on developing instruments that deliver the right amount of energy for the desired tissue effect. Lessening the impact on tissue reduces the inflammatory response, which may result in less pain and faster healing. To help accomplish this, some energy device manufacturers use algorithms to detect changing tissue conditions and alter energy output to minimize thermal damage. Surgeons interested in managing the heat profile of an energy device should always stop activating the device once the transection is complete. Additionally, Surgeons can use any of the following techniques. Grasp tissue that is being removed to cool down the instrument. Dab the end effector of the device on wet gauze or sponge. Or, submerse the distal end in sterile water or saline. Key Takeaways No electricity passes into the tissue or through the patient. A balanced combination of compression, Frictional heat and time on tissue provide simultaneous coagulation and cutting. The frictional heat generated starts in the blade and extends into the tissue, 
resulting in a blade that is hotter than the targeted tissue. Since ultrasonic devices do not deliver electricity through tissue, there is no risk of additional tissue damage due to stray or radiated energy. In the next video, we will explain how ultrasonic technology can be used to maximize coagulation and cutting for surgical efficiency.